Good morning, this is Mary Ann Lisenby, and I'm going to uh, discuss today how to set up an AWeber list. Uh, the first thing you need to do is log into your AWeber account. Uh, once you're in your AWeber account, uh, you'll go to the Home tab, like this. Um, from the Home tab, you'll see a uh, drop-down, sorry, from the Home ta uh, tab, you'll see a drop-down list that says a list that says add new you'll click on add new and it will bring up the manage list uh, screen on the manage list screen you'll click on create list and sorry I do have a slow internet connection okay once it's created the list you'll have to go through and uh, fill in various fields the first one that you come to is giving your list a name uh, I don't like to go with the default number. I like to give it a, a name that I'll know what it means. So I'm going to create a list here that is um, my uh, WMI team. So I'm going to say M-A-L, whoops, I'm going to say team WMI and someone else is using, nope, that one's available. Did you see the way it switched to green? So if it's available, it's green. So that's a good name. On the description, I'll say Mary Ann's uh, WMI list team. And after that, um, you'll come down. It says allow leads to unsubscribe from more than one list at a time. Uh, this one, to, to stay can spam compliant, you really need to leave this check. Um, even though I'd really prefer not to and let people unsubscribe from one, I, I, I leave it checked. Uh, enable tracking of HTML messages on open rates, and yes, you want to do that. So then we save that part. This, uh, one weird thing about AWeber is sometimes it'll have multiple things you have to create on the same page. Um, you have to be careful to save each section as you do that. So we're going to come down to company branding. If you want to fill this in um, so that it will give your company name on the unsubscribe list and on the opt-in confirmation page, you can do that. Um, so let's just make up something. Um, I go by the name of Miss Independence. And we're going to say www.ms, whoops, sorry, ms-independence.com. And we'll leave the default color. And notice we save that section. Sorry, and it wants the uh, HTTP at the beginning. Sorry, I left that off. And then we'll save it. And then the next part, the final part, is you have to put the email address that you want uh, used whenever uh, this list sends out messages. Whenever this list sends out messages, it will use this, uh, this address. What is going on here? Why does it not like that? HTTP colon. Okay, good. Like that one. Um, now we'll go down and I use Mary.Ann at. And then you put the name that you want to appear and you put your physical name. You want, if you want to um, have this message so that whenever they receive your messages, it will show that it's from you. And if they click to reply, it'll go back to you, you click this, and so yes, we want that. Notification means AWeber will notify you whenever someone subscribes to this list. <clears throat> Excuse me, so yes, we want that. And then we click Add. Sorry. And it's been saved. Sorry, we click Save. And that's it for setting up your list. Um, so once again, this is Mary Ann Lisenby at uh, 
MaryAnnLizandB.com. Thanks, and you have a great day.